Well, here's a starry tip for caring for animals, and I just want to show you what I am using for the rooster who is injured. Whenever you have injury on the farm, I don't care if it's your dog or your cat or your rooster, what is what they really need is because they're hurt, they're injured, they're going to have inflammation, they're going to have pain. And I, you know, I know some people say, oh, you know, the animals don't feel pain. Well, they still have a pain response. They do. And just like human beings, it causes, it causes disruption in their body. And in order for them to heal, we really do need to address uh, their pain. They may not be crying and moaning and, you know, all, all that, you know, they, but they are having a response to pain. Their body will be responding to it and it can affect their, their healing process. So what I simply do is it is very safe and very effective to give your animals a baby aspirin. Now, um, 81 milligrams, uh, perfectly safe, but you really should look up uh, kilograms or pounds of what the ratio is to safely give like smaller am animals like a rooster, um, you don't want to overdo it. I will give my dogs a baby aspirin because weight-wise, 81 milligrams uh, per weight per milligrams is appropriate. Uh, for a bigger dog, you could give maybe a little bit bigger dose. And for roosters, you probably want to give a half a dose. Um, and <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Because people start freaking out. They're like, oh, don't be giving your animal baby aspirin. They're going to bleed internally. Okay. I know enough about pathophysiology and pharmacology to let you know that they're not going to bleed internally. One or two baby aspirins or even a, a, a three-day course of baby aspirins to your animal is not going to put them in um, a, a thrombolytic... Um, <laughs> Uh, platelet count um, situation where they are go their hemoglobin is going to drop and they're going to start bleeding out. Again, try to get at as appropriate dose to the weight as you can with the milligram. Um, but you can safely give this to your farm animals. You can give it to a goat. You can give it to a chicken. You can give baby aspirin to your your pig. Um, but again, you have to figure out the weight. Um, but, you know, we're not doing it like a week's course of, of baby aspirin. So we're not putting them at risk to bleed out. Remember, this is short, short term, one to two days, three at the most. But I will tell you, they will need something. So what I do here, look at this. <laughs> oh my, I made this for the... Uh, <laughs> for the, the, the roosters, and I guess the, the cat is <laughs> a little on the hungry side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half, and then I'm going to crush it, and I'm going to uh, hand feed it to um, the rooster. And make it enticing. Making enticing. And again, good nutrition during time of injury is really important. Increase their protein. They're going to need some protein. Those are the building blocks of the body. They, those will help repair. I add a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is uh, has very good um, antibacterial, um, anti-infective, um, oh, anti anti-everything. Um, uh, properties. So if you got uh, access to coconut oil, which we do, we got a big old bucket here. I'm going to take a little scoop of that and I am actually going to give the rooster who is injured a, a, a little bit of that coconut oil mixed with his dose. <laughs> Look at that. And then I'm actually going to uh, add a little bit of meat in there. He's going to get uh, a special meal with the baby aspirin. And then we'll go out and feed it to him. Okay, look at look at the brothers. Look at look at the, he's such a stinker. Are you a stinker? <laughs> he's a stinker. But I've got the 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 meal here for the injured chicken, and I've got uh, food for the rest of the the brothers here. Okay, and we'll see if, come here, honey. We'll see if he eats. Oh, there you go. We got this for you. There, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's, no, 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 you go away. That's for, yep. And this is kind of what I had to do with Mr. Uh, uh, oh, that stinker. Go away. 
Go. Oh, there you go. There you go. This is what I had to do with Mr. Rooster, and that's what saved his life. Um, and he became quite the, the wonderful rooster. There we go. We're going to put that down and see if he will just do that on his own. Perfect. Mixture of coconut oil. There's a baby aspirin in there. I put a little bit of meat in there. Uh, potatoes, so he's got a little bit of carbs. So good fats, good carbs, good proteins. And you can do this for any of your farm animals when they are injured. Your chickens, your rabbits. Just really think about good nutrition. Uh, think about uh, utilizing the coconut oil uh, because of its uh, antibacterial uh, and anti-infective um, uh, properties. You can actually smear the coconut oil on any injury. That's always good too. But I chose to do triple antibiotic on that back. Oh, look, look at this guy. You, 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 you have, there you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right. <laughs> I'm happy he's eating and he's doing so well. It was a really bad attack. I mean, it, it, you look, he's got a hole in his back. But I tell you what, chickens are tough. And uh, this sex link... He is so beautiful. I really want to save him. And I don't want him to suffer. So really, friends, consider the baby aspirin when caring for your farm animals and your cats and your dogs. And just try to appropriately dose it. A three-day course is fine. But they really do need some type of uh, pain management. And it helps with inflammation. And... I tell you what, it's going to help them heal. That's the starry nurse on the homestead. All right, God bless. <laughs> There's my spring. Okay, honey. They're all good. I love my dogs and I love my chickens. I love you, Sprig. We all love you, don't we? You want to go in the hen house, don't you? <laughs> he wants to go in the hen house. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there he goes into the hen house. What's in there? I don't know. Only a dog. Look, the chickens are laying eggs again. I'm all happy. <laughs> <laughs>